Well, good evening, District 4 residents, and I want to uh, welcome you to our citizen engagement to inform the Douglas County Strategic Plan hosted by the District 4 Commissioner and Guider and the Douglas Ford 2025 project team. We have a few simple requests for today's activity. One, we would ask that you please keep your videos on uh, during the meeting and to keep your microphones on mute uh, until we uh, recognize you to speak, which will be a very easy process. And so um, those are really our only two rules of the road for tonight. Uh, we definitely want to hear from you and, and to listen to what you have to share about the future of Douglas County and we're really excited uh, to have you here. Now, the all important question that uh, most people have been asking is how actually can you share feedback with us? Well, I know one of our participants tonight has already done so, and it's going on to our online form at www.celebratedouglascounty.com forward slash strategic planning feedback and where you will see an online form of which you just key in your information and it will come directly to our project team. If you look in the chat section tonight, you'll also see that link uh, that I just described. And if you haven't done so already, you can click on that link right now and type in your feedback even before you talk to us directly or, uh, or sometime after that while we're here uh, during the meeting time. Secondly, if you have any questions about the project, rules of the road, other items that you might want us to consider outside of your feedback, you can always send us an email to douglasforward2025 at co.douglas.ga.us. You can also get this information on the county's website. There's a site dedicated to the strategic planning activity you can go to your district commissioner's page and there will be lots of information there like recordings from the meetings uh, that Commissioner Guider will have hosted over the, the coming months. You can see her welcome uh, video that she uh, produced a couple of weeks ago to tell the citizens about the project and all types of other materials will be posted uh, to that site. And you also can send your commissioner an email if you just want to give her feedback or her ideas and she will communicate with us. Um, and so we want to make it easy for the citizens to communicate with not only their district commissioner, but their project team. And then lastly, tonight, you're participating in our virtual meetings to share directly with us. And so that's really important to us. Our district commissioners are taking the time to meet with you, to hear your ideas directly. And so we're gonna enjoy that activity this evening. And without further ado, what I'd like to do now is introduce to you uh, Commissioner Ann Guider from District 4. Commissioner Guider. Commissioner Goddard, you're on mute. Thank you. <laughs> Technology has to start up here, doesn't it? <laughs> anyway, I want to thank um, Mr. Savage uh, for uh, putting these uh, meetings together. Um, I am here to listen to you. Um, this is your meeting, and this is going to be your feedback. Not only is the uh, uh, session being recorded so that we can go back and make sure we didn't miss something, I'm making notes and Mr. Savage is making notes. So <laughs> we're, um, we just wanna make sure that nothing falls through the cracks and there will be follow up by uh, Mr. Savage through um, uh, your email and everything. So um, I'm just gonna sit back and relax and listen to you tonight. So thank you for being here. Thank you for taking time out of your day to be involved. Thank you. So
So we're going to have uh, Tiffany Stewart Stanley. She's going to uh, engage with the citizens tonight, and we're just going to simply just do a roll call and go down the list, and and we're going to hear your your ideas, Miss Stanley. Thank you, um, Mr. Savage, and good evening, Commissioner Goddard and our citizens here from District 4. I love District 4. I am also a resident of District 4, so I feel like we're the best district. Um, and so, <laughs> so, I'm excited, so I'm excited to be here and hear from my fellow District 4 citizens on what they feel like they want to see the Douglas County government do and plan for the future. Um, like they said, we are here to listen. This is your time to tell us what you want to see, the ideals that you have for the Douglas County government. So with that being said, I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to start. I'm going to just go down the screen. We ask that if you can to please, if you can turn your videos on, that would be great. Um, and please, if you have not already done so, please submit your survey in writing of the link that um, Mr. Lana Savage gave. So I'm going to start off with Mr. Jim Palmer. You were first. So we're gonna give you an opportunity to go first and we just wanna hear what you would like for Douglas County, um, some things you'd like to see in Douglas County. Okay, thank you. Um, so I guess um, I, when I did the survey, I wasn't quite sure if I was doing this as a countywide thing or if this was more okay. tailored towards my particular district. Um, but I think one of the biggest things um, right now in the county is, is probably uh, eliminating the excessive spending, uh, unnecessary spending, um, would probably probably be one of my top um, goals. You know, uh, going forward is to you know balance the budget. Not saying that it isn't balanced, but you know, let's make smart decisions on how we spend our money. Um, would also like to see some lower taxes, uh, and millage rates. Those have been creeping up recently. Um, while not so much uh, a problem as it has been in the past. Um, Ambulance services throughout the county. Um, there's a shortage of ambulances uh, in peak periods. You know, we were pulling ambulances from these outer, you know, lying county areas. And then, um, like here in District 4, if we need, uh, you know, an ambulance, um, we're having to wait, you know, 10 or 15 minutes uh, for an ambulance to come from another district uh, because ours is pulled in for a call in the city or something like that. Um, also, uh, better parks and recreation facilities, um, additional senior facilities in this area is something that I would like to see. Um, and also uh, another one is um, making, so I, I live on three acres here. Um, if, I wanna, if I wanted to um, pour more concrete for a turnaround uh, on my property, I have to get a survey done. Um, at the request of the county, and that, that's just an unnecessary expense, um, you know, for people in this area. So those are kind of kind of my highlights. Uh, on the concrete, can I just get some kind of clarification? Do you have to get that from the Water Sewage Authority uh, from the county? Um, that was from uh, Water and Sewage. I am in the Dog River Basin. Okay. All right. But the, the survey costs more than the concrete, so. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know that you had to get a survey. Uh, that's interesting. Th thank you for your remarks. You're welcome. Yes, thank you so much, Mr. Palmer, for your remarks. And so next I will go to, I, I saw Elizabeth, she was next. Is Elizabeth still with us? Okay, well, we'll give her an opportunity to see if she comes back. Uh, next, we'll go to Mr. Eddie Daniel. Mr. Daniel, um, great to see you. We are excited to hear what you feel you would like to see from the Douglas County government. Mr. Daniel? Make sure the mics aren't on mute because sometimes we forget. <laughs> Mr. Daniel, are you on mute? I don't see the, the mute button by his by him. So I don't know if he cannot hear me. Mr. Daniel, I think he's looks like he's trying to do something. Let me go to the chat. Mr. Daniel. Hmm. Let me see. I think I still have his number. He has poor reception in his area. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay. Mr. Daniel, would you like to put in the chat if you can, and, I, and then I can speak what you what what your ideas are for the county. Can you type them in the chat? I'm watching the chat now, so if you want to type them, we can we can look at them there. Hmm. Okay. Let me see if I have his number. I I have his number. You want me to try to call? Yes, yes, ma'am. If you could do that, that would be great. Then we can put him on speaker, and then we can hear him. Hey Siri, call Eddie Daniel. Hmm. Don't know which one. <laughs> Looks like he he might be going out trying to come back in. Let me see. Oh, wait. Okay. Yes. Hey, Ann. Hey, are you having computer problems? Yes, I can see y'all and I can hear you now on my phone, but I've got absolutely no volume, no voice on my computer. Well, I've got you on my phone. Can y'all hear him through my phone? Yeah, we can okay. actually hear him very well. So we, uh, you can speak now. You, we may, we can't see you, but we, you can speak. Okay. So speak now, or forever hold my peace. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord, uh, sorry about the technical difficulties. I am not computer literate, and it's obvious at this point. But uh, Pam and I had similar concerns. She's not here. She's with a, a ninety-year-old friend of ours, having to take care of them tonight. But uh, we were concerned about our uh, roads, especially the uh, uh, where they're coming apart. And I know the state has finally uh, repaved 166, and that's a whole lot better now. But Highway 5 is in the same shape, and a lot of our county roads are in bad shape. And our primary concern was our public safety. We feel like we've got very good folks in public safety. Matter of fact, we've had to call them out twice in the last week about mail theft and mail box damage down here in the uh, South Fair Play community. But uh, the Sheriff's Department responded and did reports for us. And, you know, that's about all they can do with it right now. But uh, we need to look at some way to raise the benefits and salaries for our public safety so that we can maintain good quality folks. Uh, and as you're aware, and I'm sure that most of your other people are, uh, we're going through a mass retirement right now. Of people mm -hmm. that's been with the county for quite a while and then re finding replacements for them is going to be extremely difficult with the low salaries. Uh, when you compare them with a surrounding area, uh, and I haven't done a study on the rest of the county employees, but I don't know that that's not something that needs to be looked at also. But I'm, we're 100% we're behind anything that can help our uh, public safety folks. But we need to maintain good quality people like we have and have had. And, uh, you know, we've got a new fire chief now, and he's going to need uh, a lots of support to get that department and keep it up like it was in the past. You know, it still has a manpower shortage that has to be corrected, especially on the paramedics. And it's gonna take additional funding and benefits, I think. Okay. But uh, I appreciate you letting me talk through your phone. Uh, <laughs> Is that all you have? <laughs> Well, I hadn't been able to hear any of the discussion so far, so I'm kind of in the back seat. And I was trying to remember, and you know how my memory is, uh, I can't find my notepad. So, uh, but, uh, you know, we just, that was two of our uh, main concerns was our road situations. And uh, the, oh, another one was the traffic uh, on Highway 5 and Chapel Hill, but Highway 5 and uh, I-20, that corridor there, uh, those lights need to be programmed uh, where traffic will flow better. And I know that that's not a Douglas County thing, 
totally. The city's involved in that, the county and the state. So, but we need some coordination to happen there so traffic can move on. And we're not even at the holidays yet. We're not near Black Friday or Christmas or Thanksgiving or any of that. That's going really bottleneck it. And the additional turn lane going to the uh, mall has helped. But we we need some traffic light coordination. I agree. I agree, especially on Douglas Boulevard. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Douglas Boulevard, Highway 5 area, right there. That's a mess. I was through there a couple times today. I try to plan my route so I don't have to go through there. <laughs> I do too. But occasionally, you know, if you're at point A and you got to get to point B, you've got to go through that intersection. Amen. I know. And uh, also, anything we can do to. Uh, roll these tax hikes backwards, back them down a little bit. Uh, you know, our services are good, but our funding form seems to be getting our tax, property tax especially, seems to be getting out of hand. Okay. But if you'll leave your phone open so I can hear other I folks. will, I will. <laughs> I, would, I would love to hear uh, some of the other comments. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you, Mr. Daniel. Um, you, even though you didn't hear the instructions, that's exactly what we wanted to hear was what were some things that you want to see in Douglas County? What ideas you had as far as services and things you'd like to see in the future. So you you nailed it even without hearing the instructions. So we're really grateful to you for providing your input. Um, I think we had one other gentleman before you who provided some information, um, Mr. Savage. I don't, I don't know, if Mr. Palmer, if you want to repeat it, if you or what, what you had, but if not, we we do have it recorded, um, so we can send you out the recording, uh, Mr. Daniel. Or if Mr. Palmer is comfortable, you can maybe repeat some of the things that you said. Sure. Yeah, that's no problem. Mm -hmm. um, you know, my first one was kind of eliminate the excessive and unnecessary spending. Um, you know, just to touch on something, the buses, you know, I know that was a, uh, a very controversial, you know, issue and decision in the county. And it's, it's not a horrible idea. I think a lot of the citizens, especially the ones out here, um, you know, we're, we're paying for bus service that we don't get served by. And I think that's one of the, the bigger issues. Um, I believe it's Carroll County. They, they actually have a, a similar service, although they're not on, you know, uh, a rotating schedule, you know, constantly running and all that. It's an on-call, on-demand schedule. And I think if you parked some of these buses and um, created something like that where, you know, with 24 hours notice, uh, a citizen in any part of the county uh, could call a number and, you know, schedule a bus pickup to, you know, to come to the groceries or to the doctor's office. That, I mean, that's definitely a service that is needed in this county. But, you know, constantly running buses on a fixed route with yeah. not many people, no people running them uh, is, is a, it's a waste of the taxpayers' dollars. Um, yeah. A couple of the other things I was, I was talking about, um, like you touched on, Mr. Daniel, was uh, lower the taxes and lower the millage rates. Um, you know, we've, we've seen a lot of increases here in the last couple of years um, with, frankly, not a lot to show for it, uh, at least, you know, where I live. Um, again, I echoed uh, your public service uh, comments. Um, I believe we need more ambulances in this county. Uh, when we have peak times, um, we run out of ambulances and we're calling on private services uh, to, to pick up the slack. Sometimes they're available, sometimes they're not. You know, if my mother, you know, God forbid, is having a heart attack, I don't want an ambulance to be, you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes away when I got one literally two miles down the road, but it's in another part of the county because there's not enough ambulances in other parts of the county. Um, parks and recreation was another thing I touched on. Um, you know, uh, for years down here, Fair Play Park, it's been, uh, it, you know, it, it disarray. It, it hasn't been kept up the way it should have been. We've recently gotten some funding. Uh, we're getting a new concession, concession stand and meeting center. So there have been a lot of improvements in that regard. Um, and the other one I touched on was um, elim eliminate some of the red tape for homeowners uh, to get stuff done on the property. I had said that it cost me more for the survey uh, 
to satisfy the, the water department um, to put a turnaround on my driveway that I did for the actual turnaround. So that was kind of the highlights of the stuff I was talking about. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Palmer, for restating that um, and, and, and engaging Mr. Daniel in the conversation. So um, I want to thank both of you guys for being here. It's very important that we have input from the citizens in order for this plan to be a success so we can come out with some measurable goals and priorities for the county. So your input is very valuable, and I'm very grateful that you all are here. Once again, if you can, please make sure to share this information with everyone that you that you can, because we do need more input. So send your friends and family who live in Douglas County to CelebrateDouglasCounty.com so they can fill out the survey um, so we can get more information. And once again, if you have not done so, please fill out the survey so we can also have it in, in a written form. So, so I would- I'm sorry, you do want us to share this? Like I could post it on Facebook or something like that for- Oh yes, we definitely want you to let um, to let uh, other citizens know that we want them to fill out the survey. Okay. So please let you know let as many people as you as possibly as you know to go to celebratedouglascounty.com slash strategic planning feedback and they can fill out the survey um, and, and share it with friends and family. They can even share the link. So I will turn it back over to Commissioner Goddard for final words. And once again, thank you so much for your participation. Well, I want to thank the two gentlemen that uh, showed up here tonight. Uh, I was hoping there'd be more people. I think, um, I don't know how many um, invites that Mr. Savage sent out, but I know it was more than two, but uh, uh, that we will be having subsequent meetings. And um, as we have them, y'all can actually come back on if you think of something else that you want to add and um, but share it with your friends and your neighbors because it's very important that we have as much input as possible. You know, everybody always wants to say that you know uh, the county or the government's going to do whatever they want to. Well, we've got we want to hear from the the people so that we will um, be following the the wishes of the community and everything. But if you would just um, share that share everything with your um, neighbors. And if you think of anything else that you wanna add, we will probably be having another meeting next week. Uh, me and Mr. Um, Savage are gonna be talking about that possibly next Wednesday. Um, and I, do y'all think this is a good time of day to have a meeting like this? Or do you think it ought to be later or do you have any suggestions to get more interest? Uh, I think it's the perfect time, actually. I mean, you know, hopefully most people have been home from work for a little bit and they can grab dinner or whatever, but it's not too late that if you got kids, um, mm -hmm. you know, it's time to start getting them in bed and stuff like that. So I, I thought it was the perfect time um, for me anyway. Obviously, I can't speak for everyone, but, uh, you know, it was a little disappointing that there weren't more people yeah. uh, on here. Um, so, I, you know. I'm not sure what you can do about that, but, you know, it, it, at least thank you for trying and, and to get something organized and, and having these kind of conversations. Well, I think about, I don't know how many uh, was sent out, Mr. Savage ha handles that, but I think there was about at least 10 uh, invites sent out, but, um, and 15, I think. Commissioner Guider. 15? Okay. 15. Wow. So, um, and these are people that had already said they would participate. So maybe they're going to catch another meeting and that that's fine. Not every day works good for everybody. So, um, but I just want to thank you two gentlemen for coming forward and expressing your, uh, your thoughts about the vision that you have for Douglas County in the next five years. Well, thank you for having me. Eddie? I'd like to say, I'd like to say thank you uh, very much for patching me through and, and helping me to hear uh, and be able to take part. And uh, Mr. Palmer, I appreciate you repeating what you had already stated. I, I took some notes and, uh, you know, there's there's just not enough people interested. And one thing that may have happened, man, Pam had planned to be in, here and take part in this today, but uh, we came up with the, the elderly gentleman she had to go help. The time and the time of day uh, to me is excellent. I have to agree with Mr. Palmer on that. I think it's a good time of the day. And uh, but uh, a while ago, uh, 
uh, Miss Tiffany had mentioned about sending us a copy of the tape for today. Mm -hmm. uh, if that's possible, I'd appreciate it because that would make something I could share with the neighborhood uh, a little easier. And, uh, you know, if, if that's not, I've got notes that I will expand on. And if uh, at all possible, I'll see you next Wednesday. And uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll have more, more thoughts. I'm just glad to see that we do have some participation. And again, I appreciate y'all taking the time to put this together and uh, allowing us to have a, a voice in where we're headed. Eddie, are you part of the Fair Play uh, little community Facebook page or whatever? Yes, ma'am. Well, you could put it on there, possibly. Yes, ma'am. Or at least the link, uh, the links uh, for filling out the form so they can come and sign up to, to talk. But we welcome anybody that wants to come, even if you hadn't signed up anyway. <laughs> at least okay. I do. <laughs> The refreshments um, were great. I'll make a, a post up that I'm going to put on and I'll scoot it to you for your approval. Make sure I've got the link right and everything before I post it in Fair Play Community, but I'll post it on the Fair Play uh, Facebook page. Okay. It was, I put it in my, my newsletter. I, I put something about notifying me. I have my own website, Mr. Palmer. I don't know if you know it, but uh, you can go to annjonesguider.com and I do a newsletter. I sent out a newsletter last week and I do it at least once a month, but I may go ahead and send another one out with these links on there because there's about 1,200 people signed up for my newsletter. So, um, okay. Anybody got any other comments? No, I just want to let everybody know that these meetings are recorded and we do put them on CelebrateDouglasCounty.com so we can make sure to get those over to you so that you can have them if you want to share it. So thank you all so much. All right. Thank you all very much. Mr. Savage, thank you. Yes, and have a great evening. Uh, Mr. Daniel, uh, just for you specifically, tomorrow morning, I'm going to get this recording and a special link uh, to the online form. I'm going to get it to your email and what I send to you will be ready for you to just throw right in uh, in your Facebook uh, in your Facebook account. So I'm going to take care of that uh, prior to give me to about 12 noon tomorrow. Uh, my, I've got to get the video turned around and cleaned up and we'll get that out to you because we would love for you to put that in Facebook. So thank you so much. All right. Appreciate that very much. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you.